Jeray's taste in men is confusing, but if she has found love in a prison bay, I am all the way here for her. Y'all, a couple of days ago, I made this messy caption on a community post painting my own narrative using this now viral photo of Sheree Whitfield filming an interesting scene for the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And now, after some deep recollection and, you know, some thinking, I think that it's time that I publicly issue an apology. Find me a church. I've done everything everybody else wants to do. Find me a church to go to. I need peace in my heart. I need it now. Bring me. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And since y'all like the ghetto, let's talk about how Sheree Whitfield almost cost her prison bay his freedom, all for a little Real Housewives of Atlanta stunt, before we talk about how Portia Williams is asking the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip cast to put some respect on her name. And I turn around and you're standing here, standing here. <laughs> now before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you want to hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and are first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. So I think you really should do that mm -hmm. and not wait. Okay, y'all, so I seriously gotta back it on up and talk about this photo really quick that started surfacing around the gram and on Black Twitter just a few weeks ago. When I first saw it, I just rolled my eyes and I just kept on working on my Betty Boop documentary that you should check out after you finish this video. And yes, that is a shameless plug. Then one night after feeling just a little too petty, I decided to post it here on YouTube on my community page and y'all did not play with Housewives fans turning their noses all the way up talking about anything for a storyline child I guess I said I didn't want Sheree back unless her and Tyrone were together I didn't mean this shaking my head with the face palm emoji before another fan chimed in saying why did I just bust out laughing? <laughs> exclamation point. Sheree is so funny to me, exclamation point. Anything to stay in the limelight, I guess, with the crying laughing face emojis. And 37 of y'all were feeling really petty. I see like in this comment talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta has turned into love after lockup and I'm here for it. <laughs> and my good sis had me on the floor laughing talking about Twitter has been calling her Sheree J. Blige with the crying laughing face emojis. I've been coming back every day as the shady comments have been trickling in, but I got this Google alert from TMZ about the actual backstory behind the photo, and I just knew that I had to open up my MacBook for y'all and start doing the Lord's work. Yes, according to sources close to production, TMZ is alleging that Sheree Whitfield and Tyrone Gilliams are both hot sauce mad about how this Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 stunt backfired in their face. If I see some fing, I'm stating my opinion. What happened? Why you so mad? Yes, right now, Sheree and Tyrone are allegedly not even on speaking terms after an incident occurred on November 6th when Sheree got flewed out by production to have this sit down on camera with Tyrone knowing that he is on home confinement. Now, I have never had to wear that government ankle bracelet, but I'm pretty sure that the type of stay at home order that Tyrone is under would leave him in big trouble if the feds found out that he was out here tipping down to the neighborhood bar to have happy hour with his little shorty for the world to see. And I don't know who's out here playing who or what Bravo was really aiming for with this little sneaky link because TMZ also shared that Bravo plans to edit the scene in a way that highlights the fact that Tyrone stood Sheree up. And girl, I just... <laughs> you 38 years old, how long you gonna be doing this? Y'all, this is 
just a mess. Comment right now and tell me what you think about this whole prison-based storyline, child. And tell me if you agree that Bravo needs to stop playing in our good sis Sheree's face. Y'all need some lip gloss. Y'all mouth getting dry talking about the same thing. Now, before I get out of here, I do want to talk about this Watch What Happens Live interview that happened with Kenya Moore, Cynthia Bailey, and the rest of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip cast a few days ago, where Kenya Moore gave us the tea on her relationship now with Sheree Whitfield, since she is officially back in the mix. Kenya, without giving too much away, what has it been like having Sheree back with the group again? Uh <laughs> It's been really amazing having her there. We have great chemistry. We are just like ladies who lunch. We are so in tune with each other right now. So it's been really fun. That's great. Yeah, I was really surprised to hear that they were getting along now. So we will just have to wait and see if this lasts. Now, speaking of R-H-U-G-T, in that shady Watch What Happens Live episode, Andy Cohen was being extra petty and decided to shake things up with another one of his petty reindeer games. Now, in this segment, he was naming off past housewives and asking the girls to rate whether they're all-stars or flops. How about Sheree Whitfield? Is she an all-star? I love this game. I thought that this was actually pretty shocking that no one except Cynthia considers Sheree an original OG and the queen behind who gonna check me boo in all Star. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only one. Wow. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. But things got even more awkward when Porsche's name was brought up and the girls try to collectively play my good sis. Hey, how about the next one? Mm -hmm. Portia Williams, is she an all-star? <laughs> wow. You don't find that suspicious. Yes, Portia kept it real professional, but got mad disrespectful, spilling the tea on Twitter responding. This is so cute, being that I was originally cast to head the all-star show with Giselle. Traveling during quarantine was our issue. Booked and busy when it came back around, exclamation point. Watch hashtag Portia's Family Matters November 28th and grab my book Pursuit of Portia. Shout out to Cynthia and Kyle though. Oh, now that's how you clear up. I don't know who that hoe is. <laughs> and fans definitely had a lot to say, with one fan windmilling for Portia responding, let's be clear, Portia is an all-star. This clapback was epic too. Portia name is brought up more than others before another fan chimed in saying, nah, she is definitely an all-star. Portia has been good TV ever since, bye Ashy. <laughs> And my good sis kept it all the way real, responding, they're so bothered by Portia, with the crying laughing face emojis. <laughs> all before Candy Burris switched over to her trap page to comment, you would have been an all-star Portia had you come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and explained to us how you walked in Fallon's home and walked out with her husband. The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I know that this is not the type of leveling up that we expect to see on the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but at this point, what more can we do? What more can we do? <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I will see y'all on the next one. Mama never sleep on me. After you watch that baby boop documentary by clicking right here.